first thing that we need to do is we need to have ourselves the two clips or the two videos and put them together. Drag yourself the second clip into the first one and you want to get yourself a 0 0.06 crossfade. And you can right click on here, and just set it to a normal crossfade. Right click on the empty area and get yourself a new video track. We're going to drag ourselves the first film burn right above this video and we're going to left click on the audio, press U, select yourself the audio layer and press delete since we don't need that layer. We want to have a look through and see which area of the transition or the film burn we want to keep. So personally, I like this area right here. Press S to split it up and we're going to go all the way to the end, right about here. Get rid of the other areas which you don't need anymore and we're going to drag this above the video. Go into the center of the crossfade and for me I'm going to align it with this light burn right here. We can get ourselves a nice fade in, right click on here and set it to a normal crossfade or a normal fade in. You can see that this will slowly fade in, however at the moment it is just a black screen. So to fix this, all we need to do is simply go over to the audio layer, go into the three dots, go down to the edit visible button and select yourself the compositioning mode. Press OK. And in the mode, we're going to set this one to add. And now this will blend with the video. So you can see it will slowly fade in. It will become visible. And right about here is when it will start to transition. Fade the end of it as well. And we're going to get ourselves a new video track above this one. For the second video track, I'm going to use a light leak, which is pretty much this really bright light that goes across the screen. Drag it above your video. We're going to make sure that we put it to where it starts and get rid of the first bit. We're going to align it onto here and make sure that this will nicely fade from one to the other. We're going to cut it right about here and get rid of the other half. We now have some black bars and it's not fully filled in. To fix this, it's really simple. All we need to do is right click on here, go down to properties and untake the maintain aspect ratio. We also want to align this one so it is fully bright as soon as it hits the center of the crossfade. Go back to the composition mode and set this one to a add. We have a nice transition from one to the other. We want to, same as last time, get ourselves a fade in and also get ourselves a fade out as well. Drag this one out a little bit more so it's a little bit more visible for longer. If you go down in the description down below, there'll be two links to two really good sound effects. The first one is a vintage film projector, and this is going to be used as noise for the film burn at the beginning. Trim this down, drag it to the start of it, and we're just going to make it a little bit more quieter. Fade this in, and we're going to right click on here and set it to a normal fade. We want to cut it right about here where it starts to crossfade. Delete the second half and make it fade out. We also want to get ourselves the other clip or the other audio. Drag this one back to where the light leak starts. Make sure that this one's got a fade in and of course a fade out as well. Left click on here, drag this to the beginning and then you press Shift and B. This will give you a RAM preview so we can see what it looks like. And if we have a look at this, and that is pretty much it. That's how you create a film burn transition in Vegas Pro 20.